So I'm Katie Saywell, as you might know. <laughs> my shift to success at okay, what one journey so far. A bit about me, so my background, went to an inner city school from a one parent family, um, knew there was more to life, um, had my heart set on being a cop, not initially actually. Um, while I was at school, I really wanted to study animal care. So I left school, went into animal care, did that for a couple of years, um, took a job in a vet's and I was 17. I was catching two buses to work, ended up taking a bar job instead. I was 17, the bar job paid more, so I thought, well, yeah, you know, let's, let's do it. Couldn't pass my driving test for toffee, <laughs> so I was taking my lessons, it just wasn't happening. Ended up being homeless at 18, claiming benefits, and then started a job in a vending machine company. So I'd finished at the pub, moved on to vending machines, and I was like, self-employed, driving a little van around. You know, there was more. I knew there was more than that. By that point, I'd got my heart set on being a cop, but I couldn't get in. I'd applied once and it was refused, point blank, just didn't, didn't even pass the application. So I took a job in a call centre that was great fun. Really wasn't. <laughs> I met some great people in there though. So Knott's Police then came into it. And 14 years ago, I put an application form in and they rejected it. These were for police officer ones. They rejected my application as a police officer, but said, oh, we've got a position as a special if you'd like to come along to an interview. So I popped along to an interview, as you do, little 19-year-olds little popped in. I got the job. You know, I was voluntary. I did that for a couple of years. I put another application form in for a police officer again. They rejected it, but gave me the PCSO role. I'm like, yeah, let's go with it. So police community support officer, for those that don't know. I then joined as a cop on the 13th of January 2009. With the prospects of a great pension, a secure career, having opportunities to have specialised roles. And I was like, yeah, let's go for it. This is, this is obviously the one. Great pro career progression, put to them. And I could be a role model. I could, I could do something with my life. But I could also help people. I was very wrong. And now I'm looking to make my great escape from my own sanity. Why business? So to start with, being a cop was great. It was exciting. Thank you. Um, but as we all know, there's loads of, loads of crap that goes with being a cop as well. But on the whole, it was good. But I hated being denied annual leave, missing time with my family and all the events, the birthdays, the meals, everything else. The failed application for LD, that was like a, that just breaks you. But I wanted to start my own business because I wanted to help others. This is what I felt like probably, well, still now, obviously it's quite raw, but that, that's how I felt. That's how the job made me feel, but I needed a way out. And I was always going to be that number, unless I changed something, and that was me. So I was a bit of a party animal in my time. <laughs> <laughs> liked my beer, liked to go out, liked to socialise. I finally settled down, and we got engaged, and Chipolata arrived. <laughs> so the changes that needed to happen, so my old self, and it was time to change. So these are the things that I, I was doing, and some of us still do. So I was working, I was feeling down, I was feeling worthless. I was constantly on my phone, and oh, my phone's not even in my, in my pocket. Sorry, that's your mic. I was like this, all the time, just going through Facebook, reading absolute bullshit, quite frankly, There's nothing really. Watching the news, listening to all of that, going off, going to work, seeing the same things that the news was saying, the media influence and everything kind of, it, it just got a bit confusing. Again, with the social media, so it was the Instagram, and I was just sitting, I was coming home from work, and just sitting, 
playing on my phone, watching all the soaps. So I needed to change. So my new self, obviously I'm still working, but now I'm working on my business as well. I'm learning new skills. I'm reading educational books, so books that help me, books that help me change mindset, change the way I feel about things and change the way that I portray myself. So it's all very much about me. Do apologise for that. I'm sure that's not what uh, other sales things just been about. Anyway, less media, but more constructive media. So having, having time, but in the right areas. So with my business, I needed to be, it needed to be niched. It needed to be in a niche area, and that's what I concentrate on. So I might have the odd five or 10 minutes looking at, you know, what, what my mate's been up to, but mainly it is business purpose, constructive media. And my, my theory is healthy body, healthy mind. So great quote from Walt Disney. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Well, I think that kind of says it for itself. So um, I think it was 2017. I started reading. I did a pre-read for this lovely book, Police Officer Entrepreneur, before it was published. I knew Alex from Chris today. We, he had seen he posted something and I thought, oh, oh, I'll give that a go. But I forgot how much I liked reading. I then went to the quick start day and there's just a selection of some of my books that I've begun to collect. Um, I've got my Kindle, I've got Audible, and these things just change the way you think about things, the way that you perceive things. And actually creating a desire that I once had to join the police is now the desire to have in my own business. Um, ideas were slow. Oh my God, they were slow. And don't you all know it after listening to me rambling on, on, a, uh, on a webinar. I joined Co-op One and I've not looked back. These still exist. For those of you that can read it, I'm not going to read that one out. But this was now me. And all of you guys. I think it's fair to say that every single one of us was pretty scared when we started the journey. My self-confidence has grown, albeit it probably doesn't look like it at the moment. Yeah. Um, but I've been massively pushed out of my comfort zone. But I've been steered in the right direction with the right support and being coached by people that are very um, inspirational. And that goes for all you guys as well. So it's really nice to have fun and meet people that are so like-minded and have the support around you that was, never, that was never there in the police, really. And one of the main things is to learn and trust people and be happy with that as well. Um, so I've found myself and I've created my business. Uh, creating your perfect dog, reducing problems leading to abandonment and educating people. Um, also, I'd like to change legislation, which I'm working towards at the moment. There has been some small parts that I have changed or been part of changing along the way. So this is my business, The Dogs Code. Um, I specialise in dash and training and behaviour. There's a picture of me just because. Um, so I've created a business um, from an idea because I believed and I've trusted in the journey. I am Katie Saywell. I'm not PC, blah, 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 but I'm now me. So today I've got... A growing client base. Um, this year I'm hoping to have matched my police wage. Again, changing the legislation, being known as the Dash and Expert. And my big wins so far have been first sale and first testimonial, because it's just awesome. And I know some of you guys have already had your first sales, so we're all singing off that. But for those that haven't, it is just the greatest buzz ever. So keep your bottle of Prosecco in the fridge for when you do. Changing my mindset has enabled me to be able to do that and to, change, and to spend more time at home, really. Um, it, although I'm still working full time, I'm now able to sort my business out at the same time. I've actually got a focus as to where I'm going to go. So for the cohorts coming in, um, read, 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 ask loads of questions. If you don't ask questions, you're not going to go find the answers. You, um, you only know what you know. Slowly change the old for new. There's no point in wishing it. No bullshit, no excuses. Stay healthy. 
You choose to go to work every day. You can choose to have your own business. Don't lose sight of who you are. Work hard and you'll be rewarded. Believe in yourself and push yourself, but mainly trust others. And then I'd like to thank. And I think I'm massively out of time. <laughs> thank you very much.